the most likely reason most of our loved ones will die is heart disease. It's still up to each of us to make our own decisions as to what to eat and how to live, but we should make these choices consciously educating ourselves about the predictable consequences of our actions. Atherosclerosis, hardening of the arteries, begins in childhood. By age 10, the arteries of nearly all kids raised on the standard American diet already have fatty streaks, the first stage of the disease. Then the plaques start forming in our 20s, get worse in our 30s, and then can start killing us off. In our heart, it's called a heart attack. In our brain, it can manifest as a stroke. Uh, so if there's anyone watching this older than age 10, then the choice isn't whether or not to eat healthy to prevent heart disease, it's whether or not you want to reverse the heart disease you likely already have. Is that even possible? Uh, when researchers took people with heart disease and put them on the kind of plant-based diet followed by populations that did not get epidemic heart disease, their hope was that it might slow the disease process down, maybe even stop it. But instead, something miraculous happened the disease started to reverse, to get better. As soon as patients stopped eating artery-clogging diets, their bodies were able to start dissolving some of the plaque away, opening up arteries without drugs, without surgery, uh, suggesting their bodies wanted to heal all along, uh, but were just never given the chance. That improvement in blood flow to the heart muscle itself on the left was after just three weeks eating healthy. Let me share with you what's been called the best-kept secret in medicine. The best-kept secret in medicine is that sometimes, given the right conditions, the body can heal itself. You know, if you whack your shin really hard on a coffee table, you can get all red, hot, painful, swollen, inflamed, but will heal naturally if you just stand back and let your body work its magic. But what if you kept whacking your shin in the same place day after day. In fact, three times a day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It never healed. You'd go to your doctor and be like, oh, my shin hurts. The doctor would be like, no problem. Whip out their pad, write your prescription for painkillers. You're still whacking your shin three times a day. Oh, it still really hurts like heck, but oh, it feels so much better with those pain pills on board. Thank heavens for modern medicine. It's like when people take nitroglycerin for crushing chest pain. A tremendous relief, but you're not doing anything to treat the underlying cause. Our body wants to come back to health if we let it, but if we keep re-damaging ourselves three times a day, we may never heal. One of the most amazing things I learned in all my medical training was that within about 15 years of stopping smoking, your lung cancer risk approaches that of a lifelong non-smoker. Isn't that amazing? Like your lungs can clear out all that tar, and eventually it's almost as if you never started smoking at all. And every morning of our smoking life, that healing process started to wham, our first cigarette of the day, re-injuring our lungs with every puff, just like we can re-injure our arteries with every bite, when all we had to do all along, the miracle cure, is just stand back, get out of the way, stop re-damaging ourselves, and let our body's natural healing processes bring us back towards health. The human body is a self-healing machine. Sure, you could choose moderation, hit yourself with a smaller hammer, but why beat yourself up at all? I don't tell my smoking patients to cut down a half pack a day. I tell them to quit. Sure, half pack is better than two packs a day, but we should try to only put healthy things in our mouths. We've known about this for decades. American Heart Journal, 1977. Cases like Mr. F.W. here, heart disease so bad couldn't even make it to the mailbox, but started eating healthier, and a few months later he was climbing mountains, no pain. Now, there are these fancy new anti-angina, anti-chest pain drugs out now that cost thousands of dollars a year, but at the highest dose may be able to prolong exercise duration as long as 33 and a half seconds. It does not look like those choosing the drug route will be climbing mountains anytime soon. Right? See, plant-based diets aren't just safer and cheaper. They can work better because you're treating the actual cause of the disease.